Today, I'm going to be reacting to a TikToker called Ticks and Roses who got exposed for faking a mental disorder called Tourette's Syndrome for TikTok clout. Now, unlike Ticks and Roses, I actually have Tourette's diagnosed by a medical professional. So let's react to this cringe. Warning, I'm not very good at talking, so some of my sentences will not be coherent. All right, so the first thing I notice is, yeah, this this does scream very fake. Uh, a lot of the, like, the putting the hat in your head, like, I want to go to Canada, that, you know, that doesn't happen. Also, another thing is, if this were happening to me, and, like, I were having such severe tics while trying to package something, I would not be happy like she is. I would be pissed the fuck off. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <sighs> okay. As long as I'm consciously aware and waiting for myself to tick, like, if I were to do that, I would not tick. And I know that is the case with a lot of, uh, people that I know that have Tourette's. It just doesn't work like that. Ticks are something that are not forced. They're just something that happens. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. It's in stole his cock. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger. He's a hoe. All right, wow. Somehow this seems even faker than the last one. One thing I do want to make clear, though, is uh, usually ticks are not context specific, but it does happen sometimes. I've had cases where I like tick, what the dog doing when I see a dog? However, in every case that ticks are triggered by something slightly related to the context, they are repeating. They will happen again and again. They are not going to be completely unique and fit the rhyme scheme of whatever you're reading. It just doesn't work like that. <laughs> no. Beans, beans, beans. Jump in the hell. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Yeah, I cannot emphasize this enough. Ticks are almost never completely unique and context specific. Also, if I were trying to cook while having ticks of that intensity at that moment, that would be extremely irresponsible of me and stupid. I would either not cook or just wait until uh, the ticks go down. And yes, they do come in different frequencies throughout the day, depending on stuff, yeah. But pew, 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 pew. She's stealing. No, no, no. No, no, no. Alright, I'll be honest. From that last clip, that is a little more accurate about Tourette's R. It's not completely accurate, but that is something that I could see happening with someone with Tourette's. See if I can catch this tick because it's the most ridiculous thing ever. Yeah, once again, you can't really choose what tick you have at any given moment. It kind of just happens. Hey everyone, it's Emerald, and today I'm going to rate my most common ticks. The most common one right now is Bibu. Bibu! Um, like that. It does not! You cannot choose your ticks! They happen when they happen, and you don't know which one, or you have very limited idea of what it's going to be. But it doesn't, like, you can't be, like, talking about it, like, no, that no, but. <laughs> I guess I'd rate them like a 7 out of 10. Another one of my somewhat common ones is saying hello repeatedly. For example, I went to the grocery store and they said hello to the same child like 30 times in a row. Just like, hello, 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 hello. Yeah, uh, that's more like a, a 4 out of 10. Another common one is uh, my Tourette's just get super excited and just goes wow over and over again. That will give them like a 6 out of 10. And probably my least favorite that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense is anytime I see an axolotl, I go, there's a fish on the floor. Uh, there's a fish on the floor. There's a fish on the floor. Which is super annoying, and I don't know why. That's like a two, not my- 
All right, so I'm gonna rate my own ticks. Uh, there's one I do like this. That is hella annoying. Zero out of ten. There's <laughs> which uh, I don't know how to make the exact sound because it only happens when I'm ticking. But that's also extremely annoying. Zero out of ten. There's also like this, which is rare, but it's also extremely annoying and has been painful in rare circumstances. Zero out of ten. Uh, imitation trigger ticks. I don't know what if there's an actual scientific name for this, but I've had this happen. But, like, where someone else's tics can kind of trigger your own. Like, if I were in public, I would not be able to watch, like, Sweet Anita or, like, Too Mad. Um, both are great creators, but I would be an annoyance to everybody else. <laughs> Some of the stuff said before is a little bit relatable, but we all know you're not showing it for awareness. Or maybe you are in like a weird messed up way, but you're showing it for clout. CLOUT! Alright, so that's it. Yeah, I'm basically just saying the same stuff over and over again, but I am very disappointed with humanity.